This is going to be a fun idea, I thought. What a great simple idea, I thought. The crab pots are something I've always wanted to play with. I've just never been ambitious enough to actually do this. But today, I'm feeling it. And to be honest, that's mostly thanks to a few helpful mods, one of which is stack everything, so I can stack everything I need in my inventory and just lay them out kind of like this. What I'm going to do is cover every square inch of water I can find in the game with crab pots. Once that's all nicely set up, we're going to wait for an entire year while everything's being collected. We're going to find out what a year of crab pots are worth if they're touching every piece of water in existence. And by every piece of water in existence, I basically mean this, the shoreline, anything that can be reached while standing on solid ground. I'm not going to place crab pots out there where the coffee beans grow because that would just be too much effort. I'll do that one down the road. I want to stick to what we could mostly reach in a vanilla gameplay where you'd normally put crab pots. We don't need to get too carried away just yet. Before I get any further into this idea, I'm going to remove one particular mod that hoes everything should I press H. Because if I happen to do that, it's going to remove all my hard work so far and that's going to get really annoying. We're back. A few things you may notice. We're on a different file. That is because Motherfile is having an issue with some pigs and causing a game to stutter and it was annoying me and I no longer have to fear the H button for ruining all my progress. The way these are all going to work is they'll all go into this chest every single day. There will be a few chests in a few strategic locations, but for now we have one chest they'll all go into every day. Crab pots need bait every single day to be able to catch stuff. And since we've laid down roughly 140 crab pots so far, we're going to need a little bit of bait to accomplish this. Our solution to that is the worm bin. Produces bait on a regular basis. The worms are self-sufficient. Basically what that's telling us is it produces bait every single day and you don't have to do anything to it. All you got to do is place them there. And thanks to the automate mod, everything is going to flow into everything by itself as long as they're touching or connected. The worm bins will produce 2 to 5 bait per day. So to be on the safe side of things, I want to be sure that every crab pot is baited every day. So I'm going to need half as many worm bins as I do crab pots. Luckily most areas have lots of space to work with. This beach is going to be about the worst of them because it's the most water and doesn't really have a ton of available space but I should be able to make it work. This should be enough worm bins to for sure fuel those crab pots every day depending on what exactly they're going to touch and connect to. But that's the problem, they're not connected to anything. Lucky for me I have this handy grid thing that shows me what's connected to what. So all I need to do is connect those over to the crab pots and they'll all run down into the chest eventually. And simple stone floors are going to be my connector. I do need to be somewhat strategic still because I cannot place the stone floors everywhere. As I found out right here, I couldn't place one right on the edge of the water so I couldn't connect right there. I had to connect them all the way down over to here, but that's just fine. Everything will still work the way it's supposed to. But then again, as you can see, I'm going to have to have some attention to detail on this one because not everything really connects to everything as easily as it looks. Another problem I'm already faced with is these ones. I don't really know yet how to connect to those. I might have to get a mod to place items basically anywhere. I don't even know if that exists really, but that's going to have to be something I look into. The other part of this little adventure is going to be the recycling machine. It turns fishing trash into resources. So anytime one of these crab pots catches junk, well, it's automatically going to be turned into something good and then automatically put into a chest. And I just simply add it to all these other connectors. I probably don't need a ton of these. I believe they work every 10 minutes per piece of trash. So you have a lot of minutes throughout the day. It should all work as long as I'm skipping time. I found a solution for the one on the corner. All I needed was a crab pot right there and it does this whole strip. This is going to be a fun idea, I thought. What a great simple idea, I thought. Even getting this far into it has been a long, painstaking process and I can't even imagine what other steps I'm going to have to take as I get more into this and it gets more complicated. Laying the crab pots with this grid down really does help me to see where they're supposed to go though. More good news, actually putting the flooring at an angle will connect the grid. I didn't know they go at angles, luckily I was able to put flooring there so everything so far is actually working out. One thing I will have to keep in mind while doing this is while the NPCs can walk over flooring, they cannot walk over chests or any of the other items I'm using to create stuff. So if I put those in the wrong spot, the NPCs will walk through them and destroy them all, so I need to be strategic about my placement of things. This should be about the last connector I need to make most of this green. That's all looking good. I think I got a little bit more down the end of the dock. Nope, everything here is good. I'm going to go ahead and assume this is mostly enough. I'm going to lay down just a few more, but overall this is what it's going to look like, and then we're going to move on to a new area because I'm starting to hate the beach a lot. Now for the part I'm really, really not looking forward to is the river, because the river in town is huge. Also, do we think I'm going to need more chests over at the beach? I think I actually might, but I'm not sure yet. I guess probably not because despite the fact that we're going to be doing this for an entire year, there would be 36,000 items we would need to get in order to overfill a chest and I just don't see that happening. I know I did roughly 300 crab pots over at the beach, 
So I know how many I've laid down here, or I will eventually. I do need to keep some kind of track of this, that way I can guesstimate the numbers and get this done sooner than later. This area is admittedly going to be pretty difficult to do because I'm going to have to lay down a whole bunch of different machines everywhere and the NPCs walk through a lot of this so I'm going to have to be really careful about my placement. What I may end up doing for this entire area is taking a really lazy way out and just putting a whole bunch of worm bins and recycling bins all over the place. That way I don't have to look up where the NPCs all walk and what places are safe. I just hope I put down more than the NPCs will destroy and that everything's going to work out. The chest for town, believe it or not, is actually going to go right here. It's the one thing I really can't have destroyed because if someone happens to walk over one of my chests, it's going to destroy everything in that chest and then we'll lose all that stuff forever. And I think I laid down a little over 300 crab pots here, so I'm going to need at least 100 worm bins and probably 50 recycling machines, which isn't too bad. I'm just going to throw a bunch everywhere and hope for the best. I'm mostly going to put these along the edge of things where NPCs have the least chance to walk into them and also where they'll maintain a path. Easily enough, that's a few hundred worm bins. I'm going to start with the recycling machines now. Same strategy. This is probably actually where using Mumps would have had an advantage because he's currently married to every spouse in the game, so they're all sleeping in his bed as opposed to walking around in town every day. But I think I've got enough recycling machines and other things down, so I'm going to connect it all with a path. That should nicely work. Let's make sure it's all connected. That seems to be okay. I'm actually going to sleep right now just to save my progress. I don't want to lose everything I've done should the game crash or anything weird happen. At least this is one of the last big areas I'm going to need to do, and then I can move on to some of the smaller, easier, quicker areas. And luckily for this area, it wasn't particularly huge. I used about 150 crab pots, so I shouldn't need much, and I got the whole quarry to use. No one ever walks in here, so it's open season. That should do it. Not necessarily the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it's going to do the job. Pretty sure no NPCs ever come anywhere near here, and I think the pathing all worked out actually really good for this area. I shouldn't need to do anything further. By the way, it was almost 300 crab pots for this area, which isn't too bad. So that's 100 worm bins and we'll say 50 recycling machines. Another area, carefully done. That was nice and quick. That's a lot of overkill, but like I said, better to be safe than sorry. Only takes me a few seconds to lay down a few extras, so why not? One of the problems on the farm, aside from the mess, is going to be debris growing into my stuff. I'm not in a file where I can really easily get a gold clock, so what I'm going to do is have a fenced off area where everything's going to go into, and hopefully those fences keep everything safe. In hindsight, I probably went a little bit overboard for what I needed to do on my farm, but I was actually kind of having fun with it, so yeah, this is what you get. The farm is done, this area should remain safe thanks to my fences, and that's kind of a giant waste of time. Let's go find some more water. I guess this area should probably be done too. I still have an idiot in the way, but that's not really the end of the world. I did have to move the henchmen out of the way, that way I could be sure later on the paths to connect everything, because like I said, you just can't put things anywhere here in the swamp for whatever reason. And I just realized I almost forgot to put a chest down on my farm. Wouldn't want to forget the desert either. This should be quick and easy. This really only took about a minute. I did forget about an area. The area around the pond down in the forest. Debris can potentially grow into this stuff, but debris is pretty slow to grow around here, so I'm not really going to worry about that. It's messy, but that's good. I think that might already actually be all of the water areas done. I'm going to ignorantly assume that I did not miss any chests and skip through time. What really matters is I got all of the big waterways done anyway. If I missed any small ponds anywhere, not really going to be a big deal to me. I don't care that much. It's the 20th of spring today. I'm going to hard save overnight to save my progress, and then we're going to skip through to the 20th of next spring. I got an achievement overnight for Mother Catch. The game had to think very hard about that one. So clearly, things are working. Excellent. I like when achievements do themselves. And it defeats the purpose of an achievement, but whatever. See you in a minute. We seem to have hit a fairly substantial roadblock. The game crashes. Hopefully it doesn't continue to crash, but I feel like if I sleep overnight, it's going to crash again. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to unfreeze time in case that's doing something. But I'm not particularly optimistic at this point. Fun fact though, in a single night we leveled all the way up to fishing level 5 just from crab pots. Or, in fact, today we are once again hitting level 1 fishing. Level 2 fishing, level 3 fishing, level 4. Maybe it's because I need to actually acknowledge these. It is very slow to work overnight, but I'm hoping that that was enough to make it fixed. Okay, we're up to level 8 fishing now, we just don't know it yet. So now here's an interesting option. I never really considered this when I started this, but crab pots no longer produce junk, so the recycling machines basically become useless at this point. Our crab pots no longer require bait. Well, let's just get the most value we can out of these. I guess the recycling machines worked for a few days. They only took a few extra seconds to lay down anyway, so. 20th of spring, one more time. Please don't crash game, just work. Wow, we actually made it all the way to the 28th of winter. The time skipper stopped working here. I thought the game had actually crashed, which really annoyed me because I'm not skipping through days again. Here we are, the 20th of spring, one year later. 
that took forever. And wouldn't you know it, it's raining. The forecast for tomorrow is actually sunny, so we're gonna suffer through one more day. Can't help but notice right away, the game seems to be skipping a few frames here and there. The game does not feel good, it feels about as bad as it did when I had an army of pigs running around. Uh, we're gonna start with the one right here, hopefully none of the debris grew into this. I assume some of my flooring popped up due to lightning strikes, but this chest is gonna be the key. Did this idea work or did it fail miserably? We have items. 813 crayfish, 799 snails, uh, refined quartz, we got some torches in there somehow, periwinkles, and some assorted other garbage. And this is just from on my farm. Imagine what everything else has, the ocean, the rivers. And since we only currently have the little backpack, we're just going to basically throw everything in the bin as we find it, because as you can see, it's going to get very full very quickly. This one is going to be one of the big ones. What do we got? A lot of stuff. Even some fish in there. The chest did get over full though. That sucks. Oh, because it's right next to the garbage can. I guess I should have seen that coming. Fine, we'll just go with this. Uh, those don't come from a thing, so we're going to leave those out. Well, it's obviously time to go buy the bigger backpack then. Where were we? 999 more snails. The wood I'm pretty sure comes out of the river. Everything else is just stuff that gets thrown out, except for the torches. We seem to have a problem here. Is my chest gone? Where did I put the chest here? Uh-oh. I might have lost the chest at the beach, which would be unfortunate. Not sure how or why. Where did I even put this chest? Wasn't it right here? Okay, the chest is here. It just got way over full because it's got a billion things going into it. I probably should have put some overflow chests. I think I actually might have on this one, but it was something I never really considered because I'm stupid. Okay, I don't really know what to do with myself now. I guess the cloth does come out of things occasionally, so I gotta collect the other cloth from the other chest. Anyways, that's so what we got in the bin so far, because that's sure to be worth at least a few bucks. And see what the desert has for us today. Probably not a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, this chest didn't overfill, so this is nice. This is actual natural results. The secret ones should be the same. Probably some surplus bait, no doubt, but that's okay. Surplus bait means we caught everything we could have caught. This area clearly overfilled, but whatever. We'll uh, not worry about that just right now. Well, wouldn't you know it, the area around Marnie's Ranch also seems to have screwed up. Not a big surprise though, because there is a ton of things here, so it's really hard to get that balance right. Of course, a few extra chests would have solved that, but again, I'm stupid, so I didn't. Given the other chests though, how much bait they had, I probably didn't overfill them by a whole crazy amount, so this isn't going to be too far off the real regular number anyway. And just like that, every area is collected. Let's sleep on this overnight, watch the game crash, and see how much all this stuff is worth. For one year of crab pots, in every place you can possibly put them, I think we're looking at 1,956,667 gold. So we'll call it just under 2 million gold. We'll see from the fishing stuff, huge large stacks of them. Again, keep in mind this was with all the perks that accommodate the crab pots, but that's the value. It's actually way higher than I thought. Anytime I've ever played with the crab pots before, I didn't find them worthwhile. Well, I obviously kind of screwed this one up, but we have a pretty good idea of what they're worth. It was a fun idea, and the beautiful thing is I can still take this one step further and fix my methods. Also working on a few bigger, better videos in the background, so you guys will see those sometime in the near future as well. Okay, bye.